Hello guys. So what is on my table today? It's a uh, yeah, it's a big mess, I know. But uh, besides that, it's a meat grinder, and it quit on me just uh, this weekend, and <laughs> just quit on me like the first minute. So I decided, and I should troubleshoot it a little bit. And well, let's see. It's a uh, it's a Wiring Pro meat grinder. And it's supposed to be the Wiring Pro 855, which I don't see anywhere, but uh, that's what it's supposed to be. It should be actually pretty decent one. And uh, it just quit, so I tried to troubleshoot it a little bit. And this is what's inside, this kind of board. A bunch of electronics uh, controlled by this switch. Um, and I kind of uh, couldn't find anything wrong with it. So I decided to pretty much gut it. And I got, uh, I got me a, a rectifier here. It's a 100 amp rectifier. Well, hold on. Before I go there, I find out that this has actually DC motor. All of this uh, bunch of hooplas here convert uh, the AC to DC plus it's kind of like a slow start also well you know it just does some some stuff but I don't see any any heavy duty uh, rectifier here that would actually control the motor so I got myself uh, actually Pretty heavy duty rectifier, it's a 100 amp rectifier right here. And uh, I just got this thing out, I take the switch out, I install a, this is a low voltage switch, and I install 125 or 250 volt switch here. And uh, <coughs> while it's a rectifier, and the puppy is ready to go. So if you ever run into this kind of situation, and I don't know if every meat grinder has a DC motor, but this one does, which was a big bummer when I opened this and find out it's a, it's a DC motor. So it was kind of a disappointment, but the rectifier solved the problem. And uh, check it out. It doesn't have a reverse, I would have to get another switch, a different switch here, but I never actually used the reverse for I don't know how many years I own this, so cheers to that! <laughs> 